All right, it's Monday. I'm out looking a little bit, doing a little few screens. Um, get something right here. I already picked it up. It's a little wind scraper. It's worked all up around this, and you know, uniface on the backside, the classic little shape. Um, I'll show a picture after this clip of how I think how some of these were hafted. I think there were several techniques, but this one looks like it was a hafted one. You can see kind of the hafting there on the base. It's probably hafted into something. Oh, well, I'll show you the picture of what I think the best example I've found so far. That's pretty cool. Later. Alright, I'm back. Um, I didn't even get this all the way sifted down. I got a knife. It's right here. Let's get wash it off. It's pretty big. It's kind of crude, but it's a big rough preform flake. Like, it's a big tool. Say that's Crooksville, but I'm not sure. Look at that orange all over it. It's just a big preform. Well, later. All right, I'm back. It's real early uh, Monday morning. I'd say it's not even seven o'clock yet, but I got another point. It's right here. Huh, let's go wash it off. It's got a little base nick, but it's pretty nice. It's worth the trip for sure. It's thin, I can feel it in my hand. Oh yeah. It's not ground, I'd say it's a hoop well. It's made out of a gray river pebble. Chert. Um, got one tiny base neck but that's a good point look how thin it is it's real close to where I found that black canal one so I'd say this is a hoop well too it looks like it it's made a lot like that black canal one I found the other day just a good find later